saw in a magazine. I had to search the whole of Manchester to find them. Max, you should have waited. Well, white goes with everything. I mean, they're not exactly comfortable, but wedding shoes never are, are they? Well, you're going to have time to break them in. Oh, I don't know whether three weeks is long enough, cos they only had a five and a half. They're great, aren't they? Max, you shouldn't have paid so much. Hey, look at money bags. You've still got your dress to buy. And the flowers and the buffet and the cars. And the honeymoon. We're not getting married anymore. Pardon? We've put it back a couple of months. A couple of months? I suppose it's not so bad. We're going to be waiting about six, at least. Cos you've had a row? No, we haven't had a row. There's just no rush, so we, uh, we might as well organise it properly. Well, what do you call properly? All you've got to do is say yes. No. There's more to it than you realise. It, it's difficult to uh, book the reception. Well, what do you want? The town hall? Max, will you just put your shoes back in the box until Christmas? It's not long. It could be cold. It's going to be freezing. I'm going to need a pair of boots and, and woolly socks. Max, you will look lovely. Yeah. I'm going to go and open up. I've called to see how Daniel is. In fine voice. Did you hear him last night? Oh, we did. Loud and long. <laughs> it was like old times. So, Mr Sugden's record didn't do the trick. I don't think I can remember hearing him cry so much, and he finally got off about five o'clock. Oh, he must have been exhausted. He wasn't the only one. You got anything planned for today? Well, nothing special. Certainly nothing that involves travelling. We had enough of that yesterday. Well, you'll have time to relax and get to know him again. Yeah, I intend to. You're very wary of me at the moment. Oh, he'll soon get used to you. You'll know he's on familiar territory. Well, after yesterday, things can only get better. If they don't, you can play Mr Sugden's steam trains to him again. <sighs> I'm not sure which is worse. Oh, God, another bill. No, no, afraid not. That's the official go-ahead for conversion of those flats. Ah, now, I was thinking about that. Well, are you thinking of pulling out already and we haven't even touched the floorboards, is that it? No, no, I'm not thinking of pulling out. I'm thinking of making more of it. Oh, making more of it, like extensions, eh? Power showers and all that kind of kit. Conservatories, eh? <laughs> not exactly, no. You don't need me this morning, do you? You're on the payroll, you know, Steve. Mm. Yeah, but I want to nip out for a few hours. Oh, do you? Yeah, uh, I want to go and see the owner. Put a proposal to him, like, you know. Oh, don't go talking us into trouble for girls. I won't. Look, we've little enough room for manoeuvre in this job already, even with your money on board. Dad, there is always room for manoeuvre. Uh... Missed you. You should have come straight here. It was too late. <sighs> we had to divert to Rome. And why was that? Who knows? Anything can happen on the Nairobi run. <laughs> there were security problems, as usual. <sighs> we sat on the tarmac half the night. Oh, you could have woke me up. I wouldn't have minded. No, I wanted to go home. I haven't seen much of the place lately. Does somebody look after it for you? I get a woman in to clean now and again. I like to do it myself, really. <laughs> You're not domesticated, too, as well as everything else. If you can land a passenger jet at night in driving rain, <laughs> you can get the hang of domestic appliances. Oh, I'll introduce you to my deep fat fryer one of these days. That'll wipe the smile off your face. <laughs> I've got a better idea. What? I'll introduce you to mine. Are you inviting me to your house? Yes. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. No reason. I do have a home, you know. I don't spend all my time in hotels. Oh, five-star hotels, by the sound of it. I wouldn't mind the odd night in one myself. You get tired of them. They're all the same. After a while, you don't know whether you're in Leeds or Los Angeles. Oh, I bet the sun and the sand give it away. Ah, you're familiar with West Yorkshire. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but uh, somewhere more exotic does appeal. <laughs> OK, then. Wednesday night. Wipe your feet and bring your toothbrush. I will. Mm. <laughs> Who ordered the ham sandwich? Oh, I did. Oh, we ain't got any. Really? You can have the cheese. I don't want cheese. She don't want it. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs Bishop, but the ham didn't seem very nice today. Looked all right to me. I'm not prepared to serve it. 
I daff you, no one notice. We have a choice between cheese, salmon, a chicken or prawn. The cheese stinks. Is that your grandson, Mr Barlow? No, it isn't, are you? Oh, are you looking after him for someone? No. He's giving you our time. We already had a long journey yesterday. He's a bit tired. I'll eat them chips if you don't want them. I think you'll manage one or two more. Well, are you having the cheese or what? I'd prefer the salmon. Well, why didn't you say so? A man will leave something to be desired. Don't they teach him anything at that school of yours, Kenneth? I taught them English. We tried to. What about the old values, eh? Elocution, deportment, etiquette? Well, they're not on the curriculum, per se, more's the pity. You have to go to a Swiss finishing school for those. That's not a bad idea. That's marvellous. That's, that's an inspiration. She could take her sister with her and her parents. And her television and a CD player and her speakers. You know, since they moved in, I've practically forgotten what peace and quiet is. God, Daniel. Have you seen that? What's the problem? Sally! She took 400 quid out yesterday, see? 200? Yeah, 200 there and 200 there. So? So, she's fleecing me. I'm not made of money. It's only 400. Only? She takes any more, there'll be nothing left. Well, she obviously needs it, Kevin. She's not earning very much. She's not. Neither am I. You're doing all right. Look, if she takes any more, we'll be in the red. Oh, no, you won't. Look, she's doing it to spite me. She's doing it to get her own back. Don't be so silly. Children grow out of clothes regardless of whether their parents are together or not. Well, I'll make sure she don't get away with it. You're married to her, Kevin. She's entitled to a share of your money. <laughs> she isn't entitled to take every flaming penny. Well, it's not worth upsetting yourself over. What if this is just a start? What if she intends to take 400 quid every week? She won't. No, because I don't flame and give her a chance. Hey, do you know what? I'm starving. Oh, well, I'll get you a pint of pint house, aren't I? Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, get us an up pot with you in a pint. I'm going in for the paper. Yeah. Yeah, see you later. I don't like big dresses. I thought it was every girl's dream. No, it might have been years ago, but times have changed now. Well, I'm very old-fashioned. Yeah, when it suits you, you are. It'll be all right. It's going to be far better than some registry office, too. You'll enjoy it on the dirt. I know I will. It just seems a long time to wait, though. It's not. It's not. It's not when I live here already. What's the problem? Oh, well, is it worth us getting married at all, then, eh? I mean, if we've got to wait for the right time, then maybe... Maybe we are not right. Well, we are. So why the delay, eh? I am not going back on what we've said now. I tell you what, I'll prove it. I'll get on the phone today and I will order myself a new top hat and tails in time for Christmas. How do you think I'll look? Stupid. Thank you. Well, you won't. You'll look terrific. Right. See you later on. Bye-bye. Hey, up, where's me up pot? I'm sorry, Willie, I was thinking. Now, you don't do that a lot, Jim. Something on your mind. Ah, nothing. I was just wondering how Steve was getting on, you know. I can't understand why he's gone to see Brian Slater. Well, I shouldn't worry your head, Willie. He'll have something up his sleeve. Let him get on with it himself. Fancies himself as a tycoon, you reckon? <laughs> yeah, well, so do I. Look where it gets me. Well, maybe he's a sensible one. When he sees an opportunity, he takes it. The rest of us dithered about, scared to make a move, eh? Yeah, listen, will you uh, get him in, will you? Sure. Something I want to do. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> but you're too old. He's only about three. He's two. Can blokes your age still do it? Men can father children well into their 70s and 80s. Have you got any? No, I haven't. Were you in the war with him? No, Mr. Sugden's a year or two older. You look the same to me. Has anybody told you you're very outspoken, young lady? I'm paid to talk to the customers. It's part of my job. I think you might be in danger of overdoing it. You've left some chips down there on the floor. He did it. He's been chucking them. Oh, he's only a baby. Fiona? Um, I'm busy, Jim. Yeah, look, it's uh, it's important. I wouldn't have come otherwise. All right, um, go upstairs. What's walking in? Um, 
Nothing, right? I I'll be five minutes, okay? Yo, yeah, well, what's he after? Um, it's none of your business, Max. I don't want you coming here anymore. Yes, I know, I understand that, but I had to. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I did, look. I can't bear seeing Steve in the state he's in. I can't. I'm marrying Alan. There is nothing between me and Steve. There hasn't been for a very long time. Don't, well, you might have let him down a bit gentler, don't you think? Yeah. Like he let me down ever, Vicky. Don't worry about Steve. Jimmy can look after himself. No, he can't look after himself. Honest to God. He thinks the world of you, Fee. I mean, you want to see the state he's in. Honest to God. I'm he's not a mess. interested. Well, you should be interested. I mean, he's thinking about you all the time. You're on his mind all the time, I swear. On Steve's? Yes, yeah, Steve, yeah. Yeah, that's who we're talking about, Steve. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Why else would it be here? Jim, I am ashamed of what we did. All right? All I want to do is forget it. I see. So it was something to be ashamed of? Yeah, it was. I love Alan. I am marrying Alan. You know that and I know that. That is the truth. So how come we ended up in bed together making love, eh? How come? Because we were both upset. No, we weren't upset. No, there was nothing more to it than that. Well, there was for me. Fooling yourself. Oh, come on, Fee. Look, oh, I'm in a mess. Jim, Can you, you help me, please? Stay away from me! I can't stay away from you. Don't you understand that? That's it. I am not letting you in again. I am marrying Alan. No, I don't want you to marry Alan. Can't you see that? I don't want you to marry him. People make mistakes. We made one. I don't want to make things any worse than they already are. All you are doing now is upsetting me. Oh, Fiona, I don't want oh, to Oh, Jim, will you just go enough. away? Please, Fiona, I don't want to hurt you. I don't love you, right? I never have done. I never even gave it a thought. Yeah, I don't know. Could I have done with you here? Your dad's been almost useless since dinner time. Anyway, he's, um, he's agreeable. Slater? Mm. To what, like? To higher quality fixtures and fittings. But I thought he was looking to cut costs. Hey, he was, he was. Up until he met someone with a bit of dosh in the bank. Now, uh, they're happy with where the place is situated, but they're not interested in basic designs. Hey, on, Steve. We don't want to get any work too complicated, you know. Well, the plans stay as they are. We just use better merchandise. But who pays for it? Slater does. He just hires his rents. So what's the thrill for us, then? We get to use it as a showcase. You know, for, like, potential clients, we get to show them round. And what's the point of that? Because we're moving higher in the market, aren't we, Bill? It's like a showroom. I mean, let's be honest. Which big spenders are going to be interested in having a look at Rita Sullivan's fireplace? Yep. You've got a point there. Yeah, yeah. And we've got to get ourselves out of these no-end jobs, Bill. <sighs> What do you think about it, Jim? Hmm? Oh, I did good. You could be more enthusiastic about this, Dad. You know, I mean, I have been with the guy all day, you know. If it works for Willie, it works for me. I'm trying to make us some money here. Sorry. Dead good, Steve, dead good. I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Well, but you look so miserable for, then. It's going to be the best wedding around here for years. Yeah, that's the point. What's the point? I don't want it around here. This place is nothing special, so why are we stuck in it? We're not stuck in it. We can go anywhere you like. Right, well, I want to go somewhere else, then. What, to live? Yeah. Can survive without these people. It's not my home anyway. Maybe not, but your business is here. Yeah, we could tell that as well. You are not making any sense. Look, it's simple enough, right? I want to change. <laughs> Been in the street too long. What's going on in your mind? Nothing. I cannot work you out. Don't you ever get tired of places, Alan? Don't you ever want to see what else there is? What's behind all this? Nothing. It's Steve McDonald, isn't it? Oh, God. It always is. 
Has he been bothering you no, again? No, he hasn't. V, I need you to tell me the truth. All right, yeah. Yeah, it is Steve. But he hasn't been bothering me. That, that's the trouble. He, he's been nice. Gentle. Trying to impress. What's he said? He asked me to marry him. And he meant it. I am, uh, I'm gonna kill him. Alan, he still loves me. Yeah, but you don't love him. No, I don't, and I told him straight. For once, I actually didn't care about Ernie's feelings. I love you. Always will. Well, ignore him, then. Can't ignore him. He lives across the road from me. I can see his house out of that window. And he's going to be there no matter what I do. I... I'm the one that's in jail now, and, and I want out. Paint saw around, yeah? Hi. Ah. Is it you or is it him? It is what him or me? The person responsible for the awful atmosphere in here. It's neither of us. Look, Jim, he's not done a bad deal, you know. Nothing fantastic. It's going to mean more work and it'll cost us a few quid. But in the long run, it hey, won't Willie, any Hey, Willie, Willie. It's nothing to do with the deal, OK? Then it's Fiona, isn't it? What? He's told me. Steve did? Yeah. He'll get over it. Beats me why he even bothered. You're gluttons for punishment, you man. What do you mean? Well, she turned him down, didn't she? He asked her to marry him and she said no. Yes, she did, yes. I mean, what else would she say? She's been going out with that policeman for months. Yeah, well, you know what he's like whenever he gets an idea in his head, Well, You know what I'm saying? I do, yeah, but she was bound to send him running, wasn't she? I mean, what sort of a lass would string two fellas on at the same time? Well, maybe she hasn't made her mind up yet. How's that? No, I don't think it's down to work. I think he built a big fantasy up about her when he was in Nick. Yes, I know that. Well, he's in the real world now, and the sooner he gets a new girl, the better. Should have a word with him, Jim. Look, I don't want to get involved, OK? But you are involved, aren't you? What do you mean by that? Well, you're living with him, you're working with him. You're going to be out pressed to separate his life from yours, even his love life. Aren't you going to take those two over? I thought you could take them for me, like. <laughs> you thought wrong. £4.17, please. There you go, that's £5. Make sure you give me the right change. Yeah. White wine, please, Alec. Ah, the blushing bridesmaid. Oh, you've not heard the latest about Fiona, then? Well, what daft thing has she done now? Only changed all the wedding arrangements, that's what. Ah, find herself a better-looking bridesmaid, has she? Told you it was sling your hook. No, they've put the whole thing off till Christmas. Oh. Is that all you can say? Oh, well, well, you know, look on the bright side. Gives you time to make yourself look presentable, doesn't it? Alec, will you bring my drink over here, please? Yeah, that's all. Thank you. Oh, well, look at all this mess oh, here. What's the matter, Audrey? It's oh, not like it, you to complain. Oh, it's your little <laughs> fellow, can you? have to keep an eye on him, honestly. <laughs> Men, they have no idea. I'm have sorry, they? I didn't see what he was doing. Oh, don't apologise to me, lovely. Yeah, well, it's not my stuff he's chucking around. I'll, uh, I'll pay for the damage. Just add it on to the bill, will you? a bag of rice. No, no, I insist. I'll put it down to shrinkage. Right. Now, do you know, I blame you, Maureen. Now, come on, there are three of you in the shop. <laughs> not one of you's taking a blind bit of notice of the mm. little fella. I'll clear the mess up. Yes, yeah. you better have some. It's all over my shoes. It's all right. It'll brush off. Oh, I hope so. Well, I must say, Sarah Louise and David never behave like this. I mean, nor did Nicky, actually. And of course, they, uh, they did have a mum to look after. Yes, well, Daniel's got me. Yes, I know, but I bet you'll be glad when he goes home, eh? No. No, I won't. Audrey, what is it you wanted? She doesn't want anything. She'd just come in to dispense advice. I do, actually, Maud. I want some of those little animal biscuits with icing on. You know, our David loves them. Hey, no! Why don't you buy some for Daniel? Well, uh, I don't know whether he likes them uh, or not. No. Uh, well, he wouldn't, I suppose. Okay. I don't know. What are you doing taking 400 quid out of our account? I'm busy. Go away. I want an answer. Well, you're not getting one. Not here. You should have asked me first. Oh, you wanted me to go round to Natalie's and begged for money, you mean? No. That's not what I mean. Get out, Kevin. 
I don't clutter up your workplace. If you two are going to have an argument, I suggest you do it in private. Well, you're not coming round to the house. It's turn six anyway, Sally. You've finished. I'll just clear this up. No, leave it. No, I'll do it. I'll wait outside for you. <coughs> right, well, I think it's time I was going. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Come on. Bye. Thank you. You should never have taken her on again. She needed the job. All we're doing is providing a peep show. You go out into that street now and you'll see Audrey Roberts twitching away behind Gail's curtains. There's nothing we can do about that. Anyway, she bought some biscuits. Hi. How's it been? Oh, making you a present, Felt. I remember one particular occasion with our Tracy in a supermarket. I could have killed her. Ken's got the advantage over you, though. He can give the child back to his parents. I'm his father. His father? Yes, amazing though that may seem. And before you ask, he didn't come out of a test tube. I'm sorry, I just presumed. Actually, I should know better. I was born of elderly parents myself. Ready? Um, um shall we be going? We're eating a meal later, um, just about to choose the wine. Why don't you join us? Just bought our dinner. Another time, maybe. Maybe. Bye. I took two hundred pounds out of the account to buy food, clothes, and cheap toys for our children because I had no money left in my purse. So what do you take the second two hundred out for? Because when I paid for the food and clothes and toys, I only had five pounds left, and I didn't have any petrol in the car. Yeah, well, from now on, I want to see receipts. I want to see where my money's going. It's going on, Natalie. Why don't you ask her for receipts? Look, I mean it, Sal. I can't afford for you to squander me wages. Oh, you can afford to take her out and whine her and dine her, but you resent supporting your own flesh and blood. Look, I don't whine and dine her. And even if I did, it wouldn't be any of your business. I'll buy my kids what they need. They come first with me. And with me. But you're not going to have things all your own way, Sal. I'm not that stupid. You've got access. What more do you want? I want me bank balance. I want to see what's coming in and going out. Right. Well, at the end of every month, I'll tell you. No, you won't. Because tomorrow morning, I'm going straight to the bank. I'm going to close the account. From now on, you ask me for what you want. <laughs> 